It is a lot different than it used to be. We used to have really, really cold winters. And then recently it seems winters are warmer, a lot more snow, a lot wetter, wetter summers, colder summers. Climate change has directly impacted me physically in terms of looking at our family's way of life and the traditional aspects of our way of life. Generationally, we've seen changes in climate change, but most has been significantly impacted on my generation. For example, when we went to Moose Camp this year, the water level was extremely high and that impacted the level of fish and the waterfowl and even the moose. There's a lot of changes that could be made but aren't because right now it's going to cost somebody and no one's really willing to pay that price. We can focus on lessening the need to be consumers instead of being consumers, be citizens. Little changes like just uh, try to drive less, try to bike more. We could focus on renewable technologies. People need to move away from using all these plastics. I think it's important now that we're aware of it, we should be the ones to do something about it. doesn't seem to be as taken seriously as it needs to be with all the change that's happening. It's just moving too fast and we need to address it more seriously. I personally am a one-issue voter and the environment is my issue. Whenever we do something that's good for the environment, it's good for people too. I think that taking bikes is healthier. I think that eating local food is healthier. It doesn't cost so much to transport it. I also believe that just having cleaner air and a more stable environment for our kids to grow up is the most important thing. So that's to all you policymakers out there. <laughs>is a great way to start. It is specifically in looking at the Yukon, the Peel Watershed, and looking at other things in Canada from the Mackenzie Delta. Different things have been done to control what happens within that area so it isn't directly impacted within our territorial way of life. Things happen globally no matter what, and we'll have to expand that when, when we can, but in terms of territorially, our governments can do a lot. I think regular emission checks on vehicles is a good one. Uh, ensuring that uh, homes are well insulated, especially newly built homes. Be selective logging. Government employees could, could try and engage in, in carpooling. Taking the city bus. Giving tax benefits to people who, who purchase uh, hybrid cars. The list could go on. Hello, my name is Johnny. Boris Hoes. My name is Jessica Hall. I'm Jillian Farnell. Shannon Harvey. Uh, my name's Graham. Sarah Newton. The current climate crisis is the biggest challenge of our generation and will continue to have a significant impact on our territory. By encouraging education and promoting climate action among youth in our communities, we can work to establish a territory-wide community of engaged individuals with the tools to combat climate change on a territorial, national and global scale. By allowing youth to speak up regarding their understanding of climate change and its impacts on their community, 
We empower them to take ownership of this information and to share it with others.